Today, we'll look at the lives of Kenya's financial titans, the dynasties that have shaped the country's vibrant economy. The wealth of these families reverberate through the corridors of power and prosperity, just as the rhythm of the Maasai Mara resonates Africa's heartbeat. From sprawling estates to boardrooms adorned with success, we're about to take a look at the lives of Kenya's wealthiest families. Buckle up as we unravel the stories of affluence, influence, and the unbreakable spirit that fuels Kenya's elite economic dynasties. Please, we'd appreciate it if you hit the like button this video and also subscribe as this enables more people to view our content. 14. The Patel Family, $30 million The Patel name is synonymous with wealth and business acumen. Wealth appears to be a family legacy for those who bear this distinguished surname. Balupai Patel, a well-known figure in Kenyan business, is at the helm of this success. Balupai Patel, regarded as one of the country's wealthiest self-made individuals, has built a reputation as a savvy businessman, astute entrepreneur, and dedicated philanthropist. He rarely sells his stock in these businesses. He makes long-term investments and occasionally increases his holdings during price declines. He has also expanded into a variety of economic areas. Manufacturing, banking, insurance, telecommunications, and construction are among the industries affected. He has a net worth of more than $30 million. He also serves as a non-executive director for Panafric Insurance, the company's largest non-institutional shareholder. He also has a significant stake in Barclays Bank Kenya, Bambury Cement, Carpacid Investments, and Diamond Trust Bank Group. 13. Nakuni Family $140 million Titus Nakuni is a towering figure among Kenya's wealthiest individuals, a man whose professional journey exemplifies the path to success and influence. With a diverse career spanning mechanical engineering, entrepreneurship, and executive leadership, Nakuni has played critical roles in shaping Kenya's corporate landscape. His rise began in 1979, when he joined the Megadi Soda Company as a trainee engineer, a humble beginning that laid the groundwork for an illustrious career. Over time, Nikuni rose through the corporate ranks, eventually becoming managing director of the Megadi Soda Company in 1995, a position he held with distinction. In addition, he took on leadership roles at the Megadi Railway Company, demonstrating his versatility in managing diverse enterprises. Nakuni's influence extended beyond his corporate endeavors into the realm of economic revitalization. He was a key member of the World Bank's Dream Team, a group of technocrats that worked from August 1999 to March 2001. Nakuni's expertise as a mechanical engineer and executive was critical to the ambitious initiative to revive Kenya's economy. His influence was also evident in his roles as a member of the Kenya Airways Board and permanent secretary in the Ministry of Transport and Communications. Even as his career progressed on numerous corporate boards, including Brunnermint, Kenya Power and Lighting Company, and Housing Finance Company Limited, Nakuni's dedication to excellence was recognized in 2002 when he received Kenya's Manager of the Year Award, cementing his position as a leader of unparalleled distinction in Kenya's business landscape. Titus Nakuni's net worth of $140 million not only provided significant wealth for his family, but also secured a lasting legacy as one of Kenya's wealthiest individuals. 12. The Macharia Family $150 million Samuel Kamo Macharia, the iconic figure behind the Macharia family, has made his mark as a self-made business tycoon and media magnate in Kenya's vibrant entrepreneurial landscape. Familiarly known as SK Macharia, he has made an indelible mark by owning a variety of media outlets, including the widely popular Citizen TV, vernacular stations, and radio stations such as Radio Jambo and Ramoji. These platforms form the backbone of the Royal Media Company, demonstrating Macharia's media acumen and cementing his position as one of Kenya's most successful media moguls. Macharia was born in 1942 in Indikini Village, Marana County, and his path to success began with humble beginnings. Growing up in a family of colonial workers on British settler plantations, he faced numerous challenges. At the age of five, tragedy struck with the death of his mother, and the family faced additional challenges when they relocated to Arusha, Tanzania. Undeterred by adversity, 
The young Machuria set out on a journey in search of greener pastures, traveling long distances with Maasai herdsmen. Machuria's diversified investments in agriculture, real estate, transportation, and banking have established him as an all-rounder in Kenya's economic landscape, with his influence extending across major companies in the country. His story is inspiring, demonstrating resilience, determination, and the ability to rise from humble beginnings to become a true titan of industry. 11. The Mwingi Family, $170 million The Mwingi family, led by the accomplished James Mwingi, is one of Kenya's wealthiest, with a net worth of more than $170 million. James Mwingi is a multifaceted individual who works as a businessman, banker, and holds key leadership positions at Equity Group Holdings Limited, including Group Managing Director and Group CEO. Mwingi has an extensive educational background, including a doctorate in business administration from Kenyatta University and honorary doctorates from Kenyatta University, Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology, African Nazarene University, and Meru University of Science and Technology. Mwenji is well known for his pivotal role in democratizing financial access, and he has left an indelible mark on Kenya's economy. As CEO of Equity Group Holdings PLC, he has been a driving force in ensuring financial inclusion for a larger segment of the population. His achievements go beyond business, as evidenced by the Financial Times' recognition of him as one of the top 20 most influential Africans and one of the top 50 business leaders in developing markets in 2009. Furthermore, from 2007 until 2019, Mwingi served as the founding chairman of the Kenya Vision 2030 Delivery Board, overseeing the country's ambitious goal of becoming middle income by 2030 and improving living standards. The Mwingi family's substantial wealth, which includes ownership of Equity Group Holdings Limited and British American Insurance Company Limited alongside his wife, reflects James Mwingi's significant contributions across a variety of sectors. 10. The Odinga Family $250 million. The Odinga Family, led by the esteemed Rila Odinga, is a financial powerhouse with an impressive net worth of $250 million. In Kenya, Rayla Odinga is regarded as the father of modern democracy and affectionately known as Baba, or Prime Minister. Since 2013, he has been a prominent figure as Kenya's opposition leader, navigating the political landscape while remaining committed to democratic principles. The Odinga legacy dates back to President Jomo Kenyatta's tenure, when Rela's father, Jeromoj Ijima Odinga Odinga, served as Kenya's first vice president, providing historical context for Rela's presidential ambition. Rela Odinga's political journey demonstrates a nuanced understanding of governance and a commitment to social democracy, which aligns with left-wing politics similar to American ideologies. He initially advocated for a constitution that gave the prime minister executive powers and supported a parliamentary system, but later shifted his stance to a presidential system with a devolved power structure, which is reflected in Kenya's current constitution. The apparent shift in ideology indicates a dynamic political philosophy, possibly influenced by nuanced policy considerations, or, as humorously suggested, possibly rooted in the complex dynamics of familial legacy and daddy issues. The Odinga family's wealth and political power demonstrate their long-lasting influence on Kenya's political and economic landscape. 9. The Munga family, $280 million. The family's impressive net worth of $280 million is largely due to Peter Munga's remarkable entrepreneurial journey. Mungma has played an important role in the financial sector as the group chairman of Equity Bank Group, one of Africa's largest banks with over 9.3 million customers. His success story began in 1984 when he established the Equity Building Society, EBS, in his village of Kanjima in Kenya's Central Highlands. With a small startup capital of $100, Munga demonstrated his tenacity by convincing the Kenyan government to grant him a license for the venture. In 1993, Munga made a strategic move by bringing James M. Wendy on board as EBS's chairman and CEO to save the company from bankruptcy. 
At the time, the society was losing $60,000 per year, for a total of $380,000. Mwenji, the director of finance at EBS, initiated a series of changes that gradually turned the society around. Munga's leadership and the team's collaborative efforts were instrumental in rebranding EBS as Equity Bank Group on August 31, 2004. In 2006, the bank was listed on the Nairobi Stock Exchange and its stock was cross-listed on the Uganda Securities Exchange in 2009, marking another milestone in Equity Bank Group's journey to becoming a regional financial powerhouse. 8. Edel Shaw Family $290 million. The Shaw family, led by the esteemed Edel Shaw, has a substantial net worth of $290 million, which demonstrates their resilience and entrepreneurial spirit. Edel's journey began in the harsh conditions of Nandi Hills, Kenya, where he was born in 1961. The family later relocated to Nakuru when Atoll was only four years old, with Mangal Shaw, Atoll's father, opening a retail clothes store next to the Nakiru open-air market after leaving India in 1947. Despite financial difficulties, the Shahs persevered and Edel's older brother, Vimal Shah, joined the family business in 1970. Mangal Shah filed for bankruptcy at the end of 1976 due to late payments and financial pressures from creditors, which hampered the family's entrepreneurial trajectory. Undeterred, Edel Shaw and his brother Weimaltz started a new business by opening a closed store called Fermats. Specializing in selling items such as bed, line, and sewn at home, they successfully paid off their loan by 1978, owing to the prosperity brought about by the East African coffee boom of the 1970s. Edel Shaw's resilience and business acumen were highlighted when he and his brother purchased a Nakuri mattress from their uncle in the United Kingdom. Edel is currently the managing director and CEO of Nacumet Holdings, and he has played a key role in the company's growth, transforming it into one of the largest privately owned supermarkets in Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, and Rwanda, with a workforce of over 7,000 people and annual sales exceeding $650 million. 7. The Karubai Family $400 million Chris Karubai, the late businessman, industrialist, and philanthropist, left an indelible mark on both the corporate and philanthropic landscapes, leaving his family with an impressive legacy of $400 million in cash and assets. Karubai, the chairman of Senem Investment Company Limited, where he held the majority of individual shares, was not only a seasoned entrepreneur, but also the most well-known mall owner in the East, with Two Rivers Mall, demonstrating his entrepreneurial prowess in Central Africa. Karube's financial acumen extended to his position as the largest individual shareholder in Centum, an investment firm with shares listed on both the Nairobi Stock Exchange and the Uganda Securities Exchange. His investment portfolio was diverse, as he was the sole owner of Hako Industries Lead, a well-known Kenyan household products producer. The Karubai family wielded power in a variety of industries, including media, 98.4 capital FM, retail, Nairobi Baudelaire's Laid, logistics, DHL Express Kenya Lead, international trade, Karuma International Lead, manufacturing, Hako Industries Kenya Lead, engineering, Sanvik East Africa Lead, and real estate, international house Lead. Chris Karube's legacy thus serves as a multifaceted testament to his entrepreneurial skills and dedication to both business and community development. 6. The Morali Family $550 million The late Noshed Morali, a distinguished businessman and industrialist, helped shape the corporate landscape through his notable ventures. Notably, Morali founded the French media conglomerate Vivendi and the Kenyan mobile service provider Kensel, leaving a significant legacy that is still being managed by his family today. The Morali family's financial empire, worth $550 million, is anchored by Nashad Morali's leadership as CEO of Sumer Group, a Kenyan conglomerate active in finance, real estate, information technology, agriculture, and construction. Nashad Morali's influence extended beyond his role at Sumer Group. He was previously the chairman and largest individual shareholder of Barty Erdahl's Kenyan operations. 
However, in a strategic move in 2014, he sold his shares and resigned from the board of directors. Today, his vast fortune is in the capable hands of his children, Yasmin and Sumer Morali. Sumer Investments thrives under their leadership, with Sumer Morali serving as CEO and chairman of Rice East Africa and Nandidi Estates. 5. The Deparsha Family, $700 million Benji Deparsha, the visionary entrepreneur and founder of the Bico Group of Companies, has left a lasting impression on the business world. Benji, who was born in Cairo, Egypt in 1931, settled in Neri and began his entrepreneurial journey with a gas station. His foresight and ambition inspired the formation of Bico Industries Limited, a clothing manufacturer founded in 1970. In 1985, the company expanded its portfolio by entering the soap production market, demonstrating Benji's commitment to diversification. Idco Industries Limited continued to grow under Benji's leadership, reaching a significant milestone in 1991 when it established an edible oil manufacturing facility in Enthika, northeast of Nairobi, Kenya's capital. The relocation of Bidco's international headquarters to this strategic location demonstrated the company's commitment to growth and expansion in the African market. Today, Benji Deparsha leads the Bico Group of Companies, a family-owned manufacturing conglomerate with operations in 13 African countries. Bidco, headquartered in Kenya, exemplifies the success that can be attained through vision, perseverance, and a commitment to excellence in Africa's dynamic business environment. 4. The Biwat Family $1.1 $1 billion The Biwat Family, founded by the late Nicholas Biwat, is remembered for its wealth, prominence, and philanthropy in Kenya. Nicholas Biwat, a polymath, played multiple roles as a successful businessman, politician, and philanthropist, earning the nickname The Total Man. Throughout his life, he held various positions in government agencies and was involved in numerous business ventures. Following his death in 2017, Nicholas Biwat left his considerable wealth and investments to his family, cementing their status as one of Kenya's most recognizable and prosperous families. Nicholas Biwat's notable investments include the premier group of companies, Barsum Investments, EA Center, and a significant stake in National Milling Corporation. His diverse portfolio demonstrates the breadth of his business acumen and the significant wealth he accumulated over his lifetime. Beyond business, Nicholas Bliwa demonstrated a commitment to philanthropy by allocating significant funds to charitable causes. Even in his absence, the Bliwat family maintains its philanthropic commitment, ensuring that the family legacy extends beyond financial prosperity and has a positive impact on the larger community. The Biwat family's long-standing influence in Kenya reflects not only their wealth, but also their dedication to business success and societal well-being. 3. The Chandiria Family $1.7 billion Manu Chandiria, the visionary entrepreneur and founder of the Comcraft Group of Companies, has emerged as a manufacturing titan, overseeing the production of steel, plastic, and aluminium products. His journey began in 1915, when his father, an Indian businessman from Saurashtra, Gujarat, traveled to Nairobi to open a grocery store on Beshara Boulevard. Raised in Nairobi's Ingora neighborhood in a three-family home, Chandiria actively participated in his father's store, exemplifying the essence of hard work and determination. Despite his humble beginnings, Chandiria's upbringing instilled in him a strong work ethic and a thorough understanding of business principles. Manu Chandiria's business empire has grown over time to become a major player in both the Kenyan and global economies. His diverse business interests span multiple sectors, influencing the economies of not only Kenya, but also 50 other countries. In a recent interview with Harvard Business School's Creating Emerging Markets project, Chandaria emphasized the philosophy that businesses should see profit as a means to an end, not an end in itself. With an estimated net worth of $1.7 billion, Chandiria's influence extends beyond Comcraft, where he owns a real estate company and oversees Comcraft operations in over 11 African countries. 2. The Kenyatta Family $2 billion, the Kenyatta Family, 
with an estimated net worth of at least $2 billion, is extremely wealthy and owns vast land holdings equivalent to an entire province. The founding president of Kenya, Jomo Kenyatta, lays the groundwork for this prosperous dynasty. While most analysts evaluate Mama Njina Kenyatta and her son, President Uru Kenyatta, separately in terms of family wealth, the Kenyattas stand out as potential frontrunners in Kenya's affluent communities. Mama Njina Kenyatta, the matriarch, is a formidable figure with vast land holdings, including approximately 115,000 hectares, tea plantations in Madu and Mangu and other farms near the Tanzanian border. Mama Njina Kenyatta's influence extends beyond land ownership to include control of several key companies, including Brookside Dairy, Mediamax Limited, and the Heritage Group of Hotels. Her son, President Uru Kenyatta, is a major player in Kenya's economic landscape, with a personal net worth ranging from $500 million to $700 million. His diverse business interests include real estate, banking, hospitality, and technology. The Kenyatta family is a formidable political and economic force in Kenya, with investments and holdings that contribute significantly to the country's wealth. 1. The Moy Family – $3 billion The late President Daniel Moy's family is the wealthiest in Kenya, with an estimated net worth of $3 billion. Their wealth is derived from a diverse portfolio of businesses and investments that touch almost every aspect of the Kenyan market. However, the family's financial legacy has not been without controversy, with allegations of corrupt practices emerging over time. Moore was accused of accepting a bribe from a Pakistani businessman, Ali Nasser, in exchange for a monopoly on duty-free shops at Kenya's international airports in Mombasa and Nairobi. It was reported that Nasser gave Moy $2 million in cash to help get government approval for the World Duty Free Limited project in Kenya. The Moy family's involvement in such scandals is further revealed in leaked documents released by WikiLeaks in 2007, which expose a complex network of shell companies, secret trusts, and frontmen used by Moy's entourage to channel large sums of money into various countries. Moy's involvement in the Goldenberg Affair, a 1990s scandal involving subsidized gold exports, adds to the family's questionable financial practices. The Goldenberg Affair resulted in significant financial losses for Kenya, totaling more than 10% of its annual GDP, shedding light on the origins of the Moy family's vast fortune. If you have any suggestions on which family deserved to be put on the list, but wasn't please let us know in the comments below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, definitely don't forget to leave a like, as well as subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.